Hey everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics and I've got some fidget spinners and pieces wait there's a bearing, where's the bearing that I got for my in my store recently and uh, some of them obviously are in pieces some are in, intact and complete, some are not well nobody buys fidget spinners right now really but I was thinking these things have bearings in them and they're metal bearings and I was thinking about putting them to use for something and I happen to have one of the bearings here that was laying loose in the box and I was wondering uh, how good are these and uh, I was thinking Benini motor for producing energy restoring lead acid car batteries so it seems to be a pretty good bearing. Now they're a little bit loose. There's a little bit of play in that. I don't know if you can see that. I think you can see that. There's a little bit of play. But the looseness of the bearing actually, because it's so free spinning, if you put some uh, good lube in there, really lightweight oil, I think that could be good. So that spins really nice. Now these fidget spinners have a metal weight in it. I don't have a magnet here at work with me. But uh, I can't tell if that's uh, steel or what that is, this metal. But it appears that they do pop out easy enough from the uh, things. Here's a broken one. And um, the, that's popped out. Now these come apart pretty easily too. The well there the whole thing popped out of that one that's because that one's broke right through well, anyway the bearing popped right out of that one there's a really good bearing see that one spin so that's a nice nice bearing so I'm thinking about making Bedini motors with these now this one I gave it a spin and this one spins a long time now to make a Bedini motor you want a good free spinning bearing so watch this This thing, if I hold it flat, this thing spins freely for quite a long time. Now I could have spun it harder and it'll uh, it'll go longer. But for a good Bedini motor you want a nice flywheel action and a good loose free bearing, uh, free spinning. So if you give it a spin, the longer it spins the better it's going to be for your Bedini motor. Now look at that one going and going and going. This one here is going to make an awesome, awesome three magnet Bedini motor. So you could probably do three coils using this, uh, mini coils. So when I get a chance I'm going to wire up some tiny little coils. Look at that, still free spinning. That is amazing. And I didn't even spin it as hard as I could have. Now this one here, i got to hold it uh, carefully because it's missing its middle plug. Maybe I can pop a plug out of here and put it on there. Of course, now that I want to, I can't get the plug cap off. It's funny. Let's see if I can hold that without touching the bearing. Now that one free spins pretty good. It's not bad. Well, that bearing is a little bit louder though. You can tell the difference though, that black one spun a long time. So what I'm thinking is these will make some very good Bedini motors. I don't know how hard it is to pop these metal cores out, whatever they are. I'm going to check them with a magnet and see if that's uh, magnetic materials. It's funny, now that I want to I can't pop them apart. I had it part way. There it goes. See that? Those caps come off. Um, see if that's magnetic because you don't want magnetic materials. It depends. Um, I'll have to see how it reacts with the magnets. So I'm going to have to go to the dollar store and get some round ceramic magnets with clear north and south poles on them. Glue them into here and uh, make myself some coils and I think I'll have myself some good fidget spinner based bedini motors and this one here spins amazing
and it's quiet that's a really quiet bearing so I'm gonna go through these before I sell any and I'll find the best of them for their bearings uh, as far as free spinning like this one is oops I just touched it and it's still spinning anyway I want to make some Bedini motors and uh, what I'm probably gonna do is assemble the parts in a kit form and sell the parts so you guys can put them together yourselves of course if somebody wants to go ahead and make them themselves and copy what I'm doing that's fine but if anybody wants I have a whole mess of fidget spinners here and uh, I think that's of great use for them that one is just so good so what I'm gonna do now I got the idea I did not find anything on the internet I didn't do any research I saw these I saw the bearing sitting in the box and I'm thinking Bedini motor definitely that's what I was thinking when I see bearings like that and a flywheel action I'm thinking Bedini motor right there so um, I can see putting a, a vinyl bolt through that straight through a piece of wood and suspending this off the wood high enough above the coils and having your three coils I'll start out with one for a basic uh, motor and then expand to three coils on video later on but I can see that being a really cool uh, series of projects so stay tuned guys that'll be coming up here pretty soon a fidget spinner but any motor in the works and if anybody's interested in them let me know and I can start getting materials together to make some extras well thanks for watching guys please like subscribe and share and hit that bell icon on the bottom there to make sure you get notifications and watch for updates Troy from the do-it-yourself world electronics talk to you later